Look at this graduate. He looks cute, but he's stressing me out. I think we'll just have our date at home. The funny thing happened though during graduation. Very much coincidentally so. He's taking one for the team. Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same. What's up, besties? Good morning! Today is a super special day. It's another one, basically. <laughs> Steve is graduating today. It is a work day. I'm working half day. He has a day off work, I believe. I have to work until 12, and then we fetch in the kids at school, and we're leaving here by half past 12, because we have to be at the graduation venue at 1 p.m. Pretty exciting, but I am kind of stressed out. What? I am very stressed out right now. I cannot figure out for the life of me what gum is gonna wear because i don't want them to wear jeans obviously not but at the same time her and nolo have got matching dresses but the thing is she doesn't have a jacket because gamahelo hates wearing jackets so we always like what's the point of buying her a jacket and every time we buy her stuff she never picks a jacket you know so i'm actually thinking i might have to pop into the stores quickly at least true because i checked Woolworths online they don't have jackets all the shops are selling spring stuff now like why are we selling spring things still in july like shouldn't that come like somewhere in august ish i don't understand so it took out all the winter stuff but i need a jacket even if they're not gonna wear it when we leave here they must have it in the car because we're gonna come back late i don't know how long the ceremony is gonna be but i get a feeling we're gonna come back late this time around they're actually very nice because they allow kids to come in too i remember when he was graduating for his project management at uj they didn't let kids in so there we were with k-bear all dolled up trying to get to graduation we get told kids can't come here so oh, we had no. to watch it outside on the screen which was kind of sad but this time around they even said you know you can bring kids there will be a place for kids to stay they'll be well taken care of which i think it's great i guess that's what happens when you go to a business school they know that people that go to business school have got families and stuff which is nice and i, I think it's great for the kids to see it because the kids always see daddy studying because he's always studying <laughs> but then they just never know what happens after that so i think it's gonna be good for them to see him graduate even though they don't really grasp the whole concept it is pretty exciting almost 8 a.m. so I gotta join my meeting because work and then yeah go with the flow and get ready get all dolled up I still don't know what I'm gonna wear either it is 8.01 I actually don't even know if Rale Will and Bonola are gonna be focused in school because he woke up super early to get his hair cut and all that fun stuff and then he knows that we're going to graduation but he says we're going to daddy's school he doesn't understand the whole thing anyway they got dressed and we're like okay come on let's go to school he's like no we're going to daddy's school and we're like no, no no we're gonna fetch you early you gotta go to school first before we go to daddy's school the initial plan was to keep them home and you know because they only literally have to come back at 12 well gummy has to come back at 12 because they take their second break at 12 and that's where we're gonna get in and fetch her but we'll fetch her at 25 past 12 so that she gets to eat lunch at school really and Nolo, they will also have lunch at school if we kept them here at home we're never gonna get any work done for one and it would have been impossible for us both to get ready because the mama mama said and the daddy daddies they just never end right now i sent Isabel to go buy bread and home guys taking forever i'm hangry at least they tried shame they really tried to tidy up their bedroom not too sure what's going on with that corner shower caps but for the most part it looks okay ish i just opened my computer and that showed up when did that even get into my calendar i'm just gonna quickly send gum's teacher an email so that she doesn't get caught off guard Email sent, so things are looking up. I'm somewhere in the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes, and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I got it This meeting hasn't started yet So I'm gonna go make some tea Yellow um, 11 to 12. Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of a 
Nothing, yeah. Okay, check a go check any clothing store you come across basically. Like I am not store specific, I just said that one because I was seeing them online. Um Yeah, yeah you know most of the stores that are here, keep a jet pet stores, um uh, clothing what what at Kaski Silam Rawal finish up guy on but you know I'll I'll otherwise we'll come again so that's gonna be for today. Besides, no, no, because that, that other one, if it was black or any other color, I was going to take it. Yeah, red is, yeah. It's, yeah, you can't do nothing with red. No. But anyway, I can't go for a good size before. Yeah. I can't go for a good size before. Yeah. I can't go for a good size before. Yeah, I can't go for a good size 11 to 12 yes basically he's on leave today i'm working half day like i said i have to work here so i can't really go to the shops so i've sent him instead and the biggest challenge right now is that there are no winter clothes they took them off i checked woolworths they had the deep physically in store they had nothing so i checked um true what's online and they had one or two jackets there and i, I assumed they would have them in store still but turns out they don't actually let me tell him maybe cotton on should still have let me tell him to just check cotton on because that might not be so bad because we just need out like even if it's a puffer bumper jacket that should be fine you have reached you have reached mailbox number it's either he's done with me or his phone is dying <laughs> hello hey um check out your cotton on also ne? where do i find cotton on? i have no idea oh. uh -huh all right thank you you know he's not having it um. he hates going to the mall like i've never seen a man well actually the pro my dad doesn't like going to town either i've never seen a man that hates going to the mall like dizzy does like he will drive far to get to a shopping center you don't have to park in the basement nothing you just park get in just don't get out he will drive there than to pop into a mall that's right next door <laughs> so i know he's not having it but i don't have a choice you know the thing with work is as soon as you step out then everybody wants something so i'm like i don't really want to risk it so please go and then um just send me pictures or call me if you get confused he's taking one for the team i just opened my drawer here and i found all these receipts from all the things we were buying and shenaniganing <laughs> my birthday celebration and i'm um, shook yde i was actually thinking to myself the other day that my yde dress i should have just returned it <laughs> Should have returned it when I was done because I just wore it for the photo and that was it. I mean, where else am I going to wear it? I don't know. My jean and Gamma's jean was the same price. What? Oh, what's what is this? What top did I buy for 600? I really need to start checking prices more. The machine is still running updates. I don't understand. It's Windows 11 is becoming a pain in my butt. You know what though? I gotta be smart. Just because it's only 10 a.m. now doesn't mean i should relax and think i have time because in hindsight i really don't so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go take a shower and i'm gonna get ready makeup on and all oh my nose is itchy and then i will still have my gun because i want to steam the kids clothes i want to steam my clothes check if jesus basil needs anything steamed it's what 10 yeah i should be done with showering and all of those shenanigans by half 10 by half 11 i want to be done with my makeup so that i can spend the 30 minutes steaming and 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 so that i can dress myself up dress the kids up and there we go because otherwise if i relax and say oh, i have plenty of time it's only 10 we have to leave here at half past 12 we're gonna be late I've seen this happen before and i know it drives me crazy plus this vase is gonna want to use the shower so that one shower struggle kind of miss our old apartment sometimes what i gotta tell you this place is so convenient so convenient i just wish it came with two showers sometimes Dizzy Basil just called me now. He did come right. He found a jacket, but it's a puffer jacket, a bumper jacket for K-Bear, which is fine. I don't mind. Plus, it's an extended one too, so it's like a longish one, which I completely don't mind. It should be fit for purpose for today, but also for days after that, so that's why I don't mind. I'm a little concerned about this size because he says he's getting an extra small that looks like it will fit. If it's too big, he'll just, she'll have to not zip it up but I really hope it's gonna fit her. I really do. Pick and Pay thankfully has a return policy. Done with my shower. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my makeup. I am joining a meeting while I'm at it. It's half 10. It's like everything is literally 
on track like i was saying so i should be done here by half 11. i'm done with my makeup i am up to my eyelids steaming the kids clothes i did a two color combo thing okay. on my eye here now what you can do is go back that blue and bring orange up that not that i'm wearing anything blue because i'm wearing all black but i thought a pop of color would be nice i'm gonna put on a light blue blazer on my shoulders but this is going to fetch the kids now which now means it's crunch time it is two minutes after 12. it's getting serious Special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you gonna wear this shirt That he wore At our wedding But it was resized See, cause it was big at a time So now I have to and resize it i saw his cufflinks the other day i can't remember where it was apparently bonolo is breaking out in hives meanwhile at school and guess what she ate an apple and a muffin <laughs> so, and the teacher's like in a panic i'm like no 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 no. seriously don't panic it's okay that's bonolo's allergies she'll eat one thing today eat a okay eat it tomorrow blow up in hives <laughs> Thankfully, this is happening now as Dizzy Basil has gone to fetch them. So I think he went to get Gamo first because she would be waiting at the reception area. This thing was resized all the way to the arms. I don't really want to undo the arms. It's the body I want to because I'm quite happy with how, how it fits around his arms. It's so tiny. It's a miniature shirt. <laughs> I told you guys how stressful this whole process has been. Ooh. Hey there. How did they know I was going to show up here? Genius. Graduation boy? Man? Graduate. A graduate is driving. And we're just sitting here. Everybody's kind of sort of pissed out back there. I'm telling you, trying to get all three of them in the car. An extreme spot. Everybody was crying for something. Literally everyone. It got to a point where I was like, do you guys want to go back to school? Because I'm happy to send you back to school. <sighs> the babies are sleeping. The big girl is awake. Hello? <laughs> you ready? Okay, let's start walking. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun in there. I really do. Let me see your cufflinks. <gasps> You're wearing, you're wearing daddy's cufflinks. Yeah? So pretty. <laughs> Look at this graduate. He looks cute, but he's stressing me out. Because I'm telling him it's a genius idea to take pictures before. Because they're going to go eat hot dogs and stuff. Yes, let's take a photo first and then we go get some hot dogs. Ooh, that's a pretty star. And then we don't have to stress about queuing up for photos afterwards. Hey, you look beautiful. You do. Hi, Lola. Hey, girl. Are you ready for a hot dog? I brought your wallet, but now that I think about it, I don't know why I brought your wallet. Really? Stop pulling your thing. Buddy. <laughs> Never more certain the path laid before me was right You over there with the curls in your hair Couldn't find more of a reason to stare Never seen eyes look into me as you do tonight I'm gonna go drop the kids off now Everybody just wants hot dogs, but the thing is, if we don't take photos before then, we all know yeah. they're gonna come back looking like hot dogs. So it, it got to be done now.
Well done, Lisema Matienzi. He's a happy person. He's very happy. Yeah. <laughs> I think you and I should chat to Colgate. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there must be higher love. Ooh, how good I be. Spider-Man, okay. So oh, is that what you get? Okay, they never want to miss now. True. How I you are by the way. Brave. <laughs> You're very attention. brave. Oh, be careful, guys. Yeah, they're right oh, around baby, here. Like <laughs> Got given ice cream on the house. It's nice. Don't spill. Daddy says it's got sugar. Daddy says it's got sugar. It's so shady. No. What are you doing? You look very guilty. Really, uh uh. Guilty. Really, really, uh uh, guys. Big ah. Sorry, it's gonna be too big a piece. And my chopstick skills are getting better. Come on, chew until you swallow, no pressure. Like vomiting? See, lemon works. I actually haven't vlogged all that much today, but we're celebrating our graduate. Yeah, you posted with your picture. Yeah. Oh, really? Not cool, dude. Not cool. I'm telling you, bring kids to your restaurant. This is an extreme court. For us, we and Lizzie haven't been able to get the conversation. Wow. to help you carry them? Are you sure? Because that looks kind of heavy. No? How's your legs? Still wobbly. <laughs> I don't understand why I you got so wobbly. <laughs> Come here and says her legs feel wobbly. I don't know what's up with that. Let's cross over the other side. It's home time. It's crazy to think it's literally a little after 8 p.m. It feels like it's almost 11 p.m. right now. So I asked mama to marry me. What? What's happening? Yeah. Really? I didn't hear you. Um, he said that where the, where the ice went, 
it by the balcony. Yeah, but this house there, this one that's not lit, not not that one, this one here. There's a balcony on that house. Bulala, you don't want to walk? Why not? You are tired, huh? I can see. Really? Are you tired? Do you want to go to sleep? I like that you're carrying the food. <laughs> you're so helpful, buddy. Thank you. Camille has been saying she feels like she's gonna throw up, right? We organized lemons, matter of emergency, everybody stop what you're doing kind of thing. She felt better. Now that I've decided she wants to drink an orange juice. Girl, you do realize that if we throw up, I throw up. We cannot have that happen. <laughs> nuh -uh. Keep the juice anyway. You'll drink it tomorrow after school or whenever. I'm so tired, I just realized that I actually need to work tonight. <gasps> oh, you gotta hate growing up, right? You gotta hate growing up. Oh, if you let a coin, oh my goodness, so many coins. The audacity of this card machine. It's got one hands. That's new. 40 rand worth of two rands, wow. Maybe one rand. 10, 20, 30, 40, you should have. Here's more. Mama, you yeah. know why I'm collecting coins? No. It's because at school. Look at that one. <laughs> Picking up and putting it in his pocket. Bunala, don't touch the floor. What's happening at school? Guys, let's go. The parking ticket is going to expire. We're back home. Sweet home. The kids are so tired. They passed out on the way here. And even when Dizzy's moving them from the car into their beds, they're not working up. And I said to Dizzy, it's pointless putting them, trying to get them in PJs. We're just going to wake them up. And ruined their sleep they did a nap at school we got them just before nap time plus when we got to the graduation thing they had set up a nice little kids area where they played some more so they're just super super tired at this point so i said to him let them sleep there at least we know their clothes are not choking hazards like they're not going to be wrangling them up in their sleep so they should be able to sleep with their clothes i'm opening up now the certificate i actually have not seen i haven't seen Ooh, wow look at that fancy schmancy damn the thing that impressed me the most was that the camera people they printed pictures right there and then by the time we walked out of the ceremony the pictures were ready to collect i think it's pretty badass gone are the days where you know they take you graduation pictures and then you gotta wait for like forever and a year before you actually get your pictures and they send them by post and and this one is really nice look at him he looks like a real graduate <laughs> and then there's the family one the quality is not it's not great quality pictures this is really tall look how tall he is and i was still wearing heels the quality is not it's nothing to write home about to be honest i see why they printed them on the spot <laughs> And the one he took on the stage is very blurry. They're very blurry. Wow. It is what it is. I don't like how he was posing us. and He wasn't listening to suggestions. Look, we look like we're complete strangers. Like we don't know each other. I don't like the gap between us. But maybe it's, it's a, supposed to be the line that draws the graduate and the non-graduate. You never know. I love that they printed them on the spot. But ugh, they need to work on their quality. This is not good quality pictures. I expected more. <laughs> the funny thing happened though during graduation. I'm going to find a YouTube page and I'm going to get that clip. There was a guy and a woman who came on stage to do a poem and some music and singing and stuff. And then this guy, they played the song and we're all dancing. And I was clearly all up in my fills and dancing. And this guy walked up to me and took me on stage. My heart dropped to my toes. And I'm like, oh my God, so many people are going to be watching. So anyway, I'm like girl put on your big girl underwear and go so i went and as i turned the woman has gone to go get dizzy as well so we're dancing 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 very much coincidentally so nobody knew where husband and wife and and then i think dizzy told the woman because when we switched when i went to the woman and dizzy went to the guy he was like is he your husband and i was like yeah it was like oh wow and so after the ceremony everybody's like oh you guys know each other and we're like yeah it was so funny they're like did they pick you guys randomly or that was like completely planned and we're like it was very random so funny my adrenaline was rushing i was very nervous but i'm glad i went anyway because it was kind of fun it was really really fun the kids had fun we had fun dizzy graduated 
things are looking up so with that i'm gonna end the vlog i hope you enjoyed watching thumbs it up and we'll see you besties on our next vlog bye besties